सो है गाइज वेलकम टू डे टू सेकेंड सेप्टेम्बर टेन पी एम वी आर हेयर अगेन सो टूडे एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन ऑल द होमवर्क ऑफ लास्ट डे प्लीज कीप ऑन डूइंग एंड आई ऑल्सो होप इफ यू हैव नवर सीन वेरी लॉक दैन यू हैव स्टार्टेड सींग ईच लेक्चर फ्रॉम आवर आई डी खड़गपुर एंड पी टी एल कोर्स है टूडेज टास्क इज दैट वी नीड टू क्रिएट ए मॉड्यूल विथ ए वन इनपुट एंड वन आउटपुट दैट वी हैव लाइक ए वायर सो व्हाट्स ए वायर in in general world we know where is something like if you give something here we'll get here if you give here we'll get there but in verilog where is something like a net type in verilog actually we have two different kind of variable types one is net and net type is some kind of variable which is running continuously running continuously mean for example let me give you one example if you have a where uh, consider this is my where and you you are gi- giving some excitation to that where so that where will be continuously driven right if my excitation change from 5 volt to 3 volt the value of my where also get change would like there would be a light delay but there is nothing like hey if clock arrive then only i'll get change otherwise i won't change i will store the previous value that capability we don't have and that's why where are called continuously driven data type of very very log so now they are saying you need to create a where uh, where you will give input and you will receive the output and they have given a nice explanation here have your time re- read it this type of explanation if you give to your interviewer they will be they for sure will get impressed so please uh, read everything here they also given us diagram what the circuit should look like and i'll directly come to the solution so here they have defined the module for us so they have also defined your in is a input type out is the output type so it's very easy i think you just need to do assign and what i need to assign out to the in so i will write out equal to in so it is like the value which in will have get drive to out so that means in is driving my out if in have 5 volt of potential then out will get that 5 volt of potential so in is the driver and it is driving out and then a semicolon and i hope we are done submit and you will get the result and success we got it so this is my uh, input this is my output uh, and we the reference output which they have designed is also like that and it is exactly matching and that's why our mismatch is zero and we are done with our third problem so let me go to our fourth problem and i think fourth problem is similar i won't be doing it you just read it down here it is exactly similar right and after doing that you just need to submit and you'll get the answer it's exactly similar just here a little different so let me skip to the next problem and that is a not gate and just remember one thing in vlsi design flow or vlsi design methodology we have different type of design methodology actually and in there we have one thing and that is called behavioral my pronunciation is very wrong i'm sorry uh behavioral let me type it here and it will tell you behavioral behavioral got it so yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah that behavioral model and here what we are doing in verilog currently we are doing that modeling only but we will also go to the circuit level here i am just saying hey this is my where for example this not gate so i'll just do it but i am not exactly saying to my compiler how i will achieve the not gate will it be a not gate like exact not gate or will it be using a nand gate because using nand gate also using or gate also other many gate you can you you can make a not gate so i am not specifying those thing if i specific those thing then it would be a structural mo- mo- modeling right but here i am not doing anything i am just deciding what's the behavior of my circuit and any time whenever we start our arterial design we start from here actually behavioral designing first we do and then only we go beneath and then structural and at the last end we will go to gate level and, and sometime from gate level we go to transistor levels also so here what we need to do we need to design a not gate here here our out should be inverse of in so i hope it is again easy for us so we'll write assign and we'll write out equal to uh inverse i think this symbol is for inver- inverse of in i hope it will work let oh we have some issue uh, yeah semicolon we are missing actually that thing i don't like about uh, very lock 
and we got a result mismatch is zero and we got a success so here as i said i am just saying my in is in my out is the inverse of in but i am not specifying how using which gate so that's why it's a behavioral model of uh, your vlsi design right we need to design a end gate let us read the problem statement uh, create a module that implement an end gate they are saying only implement not any any things so we can do it in behavioral domain right okay this circuit uh, now has three where a v and out uh, okay okay please read this thing i i am just ignoring uh, okay and this is the circuit how it will look so your input would be a and b and output would be your out they have already defined this thing for us input output okay so what we need to do i think you can directly write assign uh, uh, our out equal to and to like behaviorally define end i think in very log it is double and person and the a and v and let's submit also i'll skip easy problem because these are easy so i'll i'll try one and then if similar problem we're getting we'll we'll skip and we'll skip to the hard hard one and here see we got the answer it is success and it is mismatch is zero and again as i said i am just saying <clears throat> my out is a and v but i'm not saying how a and v got achieved in my circuits so it's a behavioral domain is the easiest one because to define how like this is end it is very easy we'll just say hey put a end gate and things are done but in a soc level in the chip level the most easiest way to define anything it's in behavioral domain if it is working on behavioral domain like all the specification everything got perfected then only we deep dive and go to the structural domain right so that's why behavioral domain is a great way to start our design with rta so let us go to the next question and that is a nor gate i'm skipping it i will skip it for sure so please make a nor gate and then XOR gate would be a little uh, interesting. NOR gate, XOR gate, you can easily do it, right? So now the time is to give you the answer of last day episodes. And that is the inventor of Verilog is Prabhu Goyal. He, we are proud Indian. He is from India. And also he has studied from IIT Kanpur. Question for this today. And that is, you need to tell what's the difference between Verilog and System Verilog. Please comment down and I will give uh, the answer in our next episode.